So hi there again everyone, this is again Alan and welcome to my channel. It's been long since we did our last watercolor review and so today I decided to review one of the most popular student grade watercolor paints in the Philippines and that is the Reeves watercolor. I bought this set in 2013 when I still had no idea what artist grade, student grade, and school grade paints were. I bought this in National Bookstore for only 479 Philippine pesos. Of course, that's the price six years ago. Now, I believe it's around 700 Philippine pesos. I'm not sure. And um, I also found this same set in Amazon for 20 US dollars or that's roughly 1,060 Philippine pesos. The reason why I bought this set was that I wanted an upgrade from my brown watercolors which was uh, the one I was using back in college and um, I believe this was a quality brand because it was named after the famous painter Reeves and um, back then as I mentioned earlier I still have no idea which paints or which watercolor paints are actually artist grade I have no idea about those terms so uh, I just based on the popularity and the name it carries I have actually almost forgotten I had this set luckily I was reminded when I saw Jendelin Sandaga's review of this the same set so I rushed into my old cabinet and uh, searched uh, for this set and when I found it I felt like I found the treasure so here we are now we are about to review the Reeves watercolor so the box looks fine, but again, uh, just like in the Windsor in Newton, China, I am not pleased with this opening um, because it uh, risks your tubes from falling out. I wish they placed an acetate or a plastic uh, sheet to uh, protect the tubes. So here, here's the logo, the name of the brand, the of course watercolor aquarel aquarella in different languages 18 colors good color strength transparent finish so there are description descriptions at the back with different uh, languages and it says here in english good color strength transparent finish highly pigmented good light fastness and permanence smooth consistent color washes Clean up with water, no solvents required. For use on watercolor paper, boards 18 ml, sorry, 18 colors or 18 tubes by 10 ml. So here are the colors. The color names are listed here. And let's see the tubes. So this comes in a paper tray with a flimsy plastic uh, container or tray um, the tubes are made out of plastic which I don't think is a good thing but let's see so in front it has the name of the brand the logo the name of the color in English and two other languages it says here 10 ml and at the back it says here AP so that means it's non-toxic which is a good thing it indicates also here that it's a London brand but it's made in China. It's actually very much comparable to the Windsor & Newton China version tubes which we reviewed before. Um, the feel is actually the same and it's weird because the markings uh, at the back is also the same. Even the black uh, marking here, maybe they had the same um, source of uh, tube manufacturers I don't know and for our swatch sheet I am using as usual Arches 185 watercolor paper and I've already prepared earlier our swatch boxes and the sketch for our sample painting so let's start with Chinese white Chinese white is almost dry now Next we have lemon yellow, but I've noticed something weird. It seems that the uh, see the pigment and the binders already separated. But this is lemon yellow. I'm not. I wasn't expecting the color to be this dark. 
so the lemon yellow looks like a muted uh, yellow I don't know if the color in the video is reliable but it looks very muted in actual the same issue is also in medium yellow maybe because these are old paints but it's weird because I also have vintage uh, Winsor & Newton paints but this this is not happening to those uh, tubes those are even older tubes so it's weird because the medium yellow appears to be brighter than the lemon yellow next we have orange but it's also it also has a separation of pigments I don't know if this happens also in um, newer tubes but uh, as per uh, Janeline Sandaga's reviews, yeah, review on this uh, um, Reeves watercolor, it's the same, even if her stock is newer. But this orange is fine as compared to the lemon yellow. Next, we have flesh tint. Again, um, binder separation. And this is worse I think so here is our flesh tint which is very opaque probably because of the white pigment they included by the way the tubes have no uh, light fastness and pigment information provided so again I think that's a clue that it's a school grade brand or a school grade paint next we have brilliant red This doesn't have a uh, pigment separation and the color is very intense. Crimson has a uh, separation also of binder. And the binder looks weird because it's it, it's brown. This is crimson. Next we have violet. This violet is not as pigmented as the others. It feels like a cobalt a violet. You need a lot of paints to bring the color out. Ultramarine. Again, some uh, pigment separation. Halo blue again pigment separation so here is our Halo blue I love their Halo blue because it's very uh, intense and transparent again pigment separation It's weird because the performance so far is also very much comparable to the Windsor & Newton China. They have a pigment and binder separation and the paints feel thick generally. Next we have permanent green light. Okay, pigment separation again. Here's permanent green light. Next, we have sap green. Of course, pigment separation again. So, let me share in the comment section if you have new stocks and you still experience the same uh, pigment and binder separation. Uh, the sap green and the permanent green light is almost the same. And even yellow ochre has a little pigment separation of course yellow ochre is opaque next we have burnt sienna again a pigment separation
So here's Bones Chena. Next we have Burnt Umber. And luckily this one has no pigment separation. And it's a nice brown shade. It's intense and transparent as well. Burnt Sienna is opaque. And Burnt Sienna is transparent. Next, we have Paints Gray. Of course, pigment and binder separation. And lastly, Ivory Black which has no pigment and binder separation. I'm actually quite surprised that they included two blacks in this set. And not that I'm complaining, I actually love both Ivory Black and Paints Gray because I use it a lot in my painting, especially Paints Gray. And this Ivory Black is also good. So here is our swatch sheet and so far uh, most of them are very pigmented and um, I like the color choice choices because they included two uh, shades of yellow one is warm and one one is uh, cool but I think there's something wrong with lemon yellow they also had two reds and two blues and um, I'm surprised there are also three greens here. I'm not complaining because I love greens, but I don't know with other artists. And the usual uh, muted yellow, an orangey brown, and a deep brown. And of course, two black paints. And for some, especially for the portrait artists, the flesh tint is also very usable, although I don't actually like how very uh, opaque it is so now let's start on our sample painting and for some parts i will be speeding it up to up at least 15 times to cut the video short so let's start with the horizon for the base of the sky So for the mountain, I mixed the carmine, the ultramarine, and the raw umber to achieve this uh, very muted uh, purple. And of course, we're also gonna be reflecting our mountain to the river, to the body of water by drawing some lines using the same paints that we used in our mountain but of course we're gonna be leaving some parts unpainted to represent the sky so now that the first layer is dry we can now put our details and our dry brush techniques for our landscape So we need to put shadows, cast uh, shadows of our tree, assuming that the light comes from above or the top. So let's just give a little warmth to our mountain.
and a little bit um, blue sky reflections to our river and some also reflections So here now is our sample painting and here now is our swatch set. So for my final verdict uh, with the uh, Reeves watercolors, I'm actually impressed with how these performed this, despite the fact that it's an old stock and I believe a quality paint should not actually deteriorate that that much um, despite uh, being an old stock i don't know if this will be better if it's a new stock but i'm also uh, impressed because with this type of binder that we uh, extracted from the tubes it's very dark i'm surprised that the color still appeared very um, intensely very deep very saturated except maybe for lemon yellow but i'm actually suspend uh, suspecting that uh, this is its natural color because um, i think it's something like a nickel yellow it's in the pigment i just forgot the pigment code and yeah the colors overall are very vibrant and i'm also happy with the output that i uh, was able to achieve using these Reeves watercolors. I was actually expecting it to perform uh, just like or on par with uh, Windsor in Newton, China, but it's actually better for me comparing the swatch sheet. It's obvious that the colors are more concentrated in Reeves watercolors, and uh, but I uh, have a deeper colored painting here, so it's not the same case so it's not comparable when it comes to the painting but the swatches I prefer the Reeves it can also be compared with um, the Sakura Koi when it comes to uh, saturation but I will still prefer the Reeves watercolor if you uh, use tubes um, because what I don't like about the Sakura Koi pocket field sketchbook is again the weird separation or sorry the weird uh, granulation which looks grainy I am still preferring this over the two that I have showed you um, before I forget um, some people or some artists are actually complaining about the smell or the odor the Reeves watercolor gives but for me, it's not an issue. It's not a major issue because it's not that strong for me unless you put it against your nose directly. And it actually smells just like the uh, cheap watercolor paints that I used back in grade school. The, for example, the Cox uh, watercolors in tubes. So I'm maybe I'm just used with that smell. It smells like plastic or a chemical. But for me, it's mild. So it's not a major issue. And again, before we end, I am reminding again everyone, especially those who have not joined yet, to please check out the mechanics for my Daniel Smith watercolor set giveaway. Please do check the mechanics which I posted three weeks ago and you still have up until August 10 to submit. It's uh, two weeks from now, so you still have enough time to join and you may submit uh, as many entries as you want as long as you use watercolors. And what else? So uh, please grab this opportunity because I don't know uh, when I will be giving again another set or giveaway. So this is your chance. If you have not subscribed yet, please do subscribe for more watercolor contents. You may also follow me on Instagram. That's uh, Running Architographer, and you can also check out my Shopee store. Just uh, look for my name, Watercolors by Alan J. Quesada. And again, thank you for watching. I hope you got something and see you again next week.